And, and please keep in mind, not all of these readings are going to resonate with all of you. These are general messages for a private one-on-one -on -one session with me. Send me a DM on Instagram. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. Talk to me about someone in the recent past. What do they feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about Taurus? Talk to me about an energy spirit in the recent past. So we have a card that flipped over here. This is the Two of Swords energy. Who is this person in the recent past, Taurus, okay? For some of you, you could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. This is somebody who's just trying to make pretend like they don't know that they're making a poor choice. They're just trying to act like they got it all together. When in reality, I feel really, I don't want to say sad for this person. I just feel like they were warned. Okay, I don't know who this is in reference to. They were warned, they were foretold, all of that energy. And they still trying to do something a certain way, okay? Uh, they feel like going a different route is going to alleviate their situation in some way. I don't see that happening. They're still putting a blindfold to the situation. Okay, tell me more about this Two of Swords. Talk to me about the Two of Swords, this individual. They don't listen. It's, it's an energy of how many times did you have to tell somebody this, right? And of course, we're not always talking about a lover. This could be one of your children, a family member, or someone that you work with. Talk to me about this Two of Swords energy. This person in the recent past here. Who is this person? King of Swords, okay? So this individual likes to oppose the things that you say. Okay, so it's like if you come to them with one thing, then they have some type of explanation as to why things shouldn't go that way. Or, you know, it's, it's when you're having a conversation with someone and they have to challenge everything that you are trying to bring up. And it's almost like mid-sentence, you want to cut the person off and say, look, this is not a competition. So if there's an issue with your ego, then figure yourself out. And then we can have a combo. But if you want to sit here and feel inferior because I have my opinion, then that means that you have an insecurity. So take care of that, right? So sometimes mid convo, we would love to say things like that to people because their actions speak louder. So it's like, I'm trying to explain something to you and you're trying to cut me off because you think that you're right. So somebody around you always thinks that they're right. This person's energy is very in my face right now in the recent past. Like this person, they, they it could be confrontational even. And you're the wrong person for people to try and be confrontational with. You don't want to do that with a Taurus. Because Taurus is going to say, come on then. Come on. Let's go. Right? So somebody... <laughs> Uh, this individual, they're going to get a wake-up call, okay? Tell me more about the recent past. Tell me more. You could be in love with this person or you admire a quality about them you just don't like the way that they express themselves at times, or it's like they're always trying to dictate something, okay? And that's something that you're not gonna allow. And if they keep doing it, then you're just gonna cut them off, is what I'm getting here. This could be a boss. This could be somebody in authority, all right? A lot of swords here. So 
So I don't know if one of your supervisors is a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Okay, I'm getting heavy Aquarius energy here. We also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you're showing up as more of the water sign here. Okay, because it's like, I don't feel you being hostile towards this person. It's like, they're always trying to challenge you. They get offended by every little thing that you do, every little thing that you say. That's their problem. They're projecting. If they get pissed off by reading your post or by fucking stalking your ass all day and, and they get pissed off by something that you put up, they need to sit down with themselves and have a conversation with themselves, literally, like... If they don't want to listen to anybody else's opinion, and if they only want to listen to what they think, then they need to fucking talk to themselves in the corner, right? We talked about that already. You want to be the four of cups? Pour the whole fucking jar on your ass, like, or the fucking flask, whatever you got, yo, <laughs> for real. So somebody got to sit over there and, and literally um, have a moment. <laughs> Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present when it comes to an energy that surrounds Taurus. Here we go with the swords again. We got a page of swords energy, even more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And I'm not saying it's an air sign. This person could have air qualities, all right? This is somebody that is opinionated and they stand by what they think, all right? So it's very difficult to convince this person, all right? They just don't change their mind so easily. That's just not how they operate. And they continue to watch what you're doing and what you're up to. Taurus. So I have no idea who this person is, okay? But here they are again, all right? It's almost like every time the thumbnail is all in black, if somebody's dressed all in black, then you already know what type of reading we're going to have, right? That's why it's important to join me at the Femacy Lighthouse pre-show so that you can be aware of what it is that I'm talking about. A lot of you guys don't even know what I'm saying right now. But if you're not a part of the pre-show, then you don't know. Everybody else who is a part of the pre-show on Instagram understands what I mean. So it's like Scorpio energy right now. Again, talk to me about the present. Page of Swords. What is this Page of Swords? What are they watching? And what do they want to watch? And, you know... Let's go with this person. Talk to me about Page of Swords. Okay. Because this is what they want, all right? Or I don't know if you want this person or what's going on here. They're watching you. You're watching them. This is what it seems like. But this individual wants something from you. And I don't know what that is. They're waiting on something from you. Tell me more. Oh, like, <laughs> they're full of drama right now. Stay away from this person, whoever this is. I'm not saying that it has to be a lover, but, you know, contradicting over here blocking you or just not giving enough attention but still wanting you to stick around while they watch you all day you know watching your stuff coming up with ideas off of your stuff you know what i mean it's like no no i, I don't know what's wrong with this person but it just the energy i don't like it i have to be honest you know there's something wrong with this person's energy here Talk to me about, you see, even more swords. We should just call this the sword reading, okay? Sword, sword, sword. <laughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. 
somebody is going through this right now. Who is this Taurus around you? All right, what's going on here? Clarify this Nine of Swords in the future. What does this have to do with? Talk to me about this person. Look at cards falling to the floor. Tell me more. What's going on with this person? Nine of Swords energy. What's going on? The sun. The star. Something is all up in their face and they don't know what to do about it. Some of y'all moving on and this person don't like that. Okay? All of this light in this person's face is irritating them. Okay? So I don't know if this is a wake-up call for this Nine of Swords person or if you shining right now, Taurus, and they can't stand it or if there's a reality check that happened here. They can't cover the sun. Who can cover the sun, right? Like this person can do it. And so they're forced to feel the light, to see the light. Hmm. Tell me more. Yeah. Forced to see the light, to feel the light. You feel what I'm saying? How that card just popped up like that? This is confirmation. This is you, Taurus. A lot of you already know that. This is also a Libra energy. But we're talking about the Empress here. Right here. You know? So, whatever you did is working. Let me tell you, okay? All you did was put yourself first. That's all you had to do. Okay? And now, whatever it is that you're doing has turned into this. Okay? And because of that, someone feels like this. <laughs> Talk to me about love really quick. What's happening in love for Taurus? Talk to me about love here. Love for Taurus. Hmm, okay. Scorpio. You don't want to hear about a past person. A lot of you guys don't want to hear it, but there's somebody here that wants to come back or wants another chance. I can't lie to you. That's the judgment card. I would show you, but these people are naked, right? And I don't want to get flat. So they want it back. Tell me more about this Scorpio energy when it comes to love. Some of y'all dealing with a Sagittarius. Temperance energy or someone that you have this 5D spiritual connection with. It's like it's not over. Tell me more about this. Temperance and Scorpio energy. What is this all about? Talk to me about this water and fire energy. Hmm. Tell me more. Talk to me about this. Waiting, waiting and watching, waiting and watching all day long. You are everything and the only thing that this person care about. Don't matter if there was somebody else. They don't even care about the person that they're with. We spoke about that yesterday. If you haven't seen yesterday's reading, you want to go check it out. They don't even care about whoever the queen of wands is in their life. They watch you a lot. They look at your things all of the time. I don't know what they're looking at. I don't know, you know, if it's old text messages or what. Like, 
He has the earth in his hands, whether male or female here, okay? Somebody doesn't want to budge here. They don't want to let anything go, okay? But they want to give you a difficult time, all right? They don't want to let you go, but they want to give you a hard time. And every time you bring something up, they get triggered by it. And then they point the finger at you. There's something going on with them. Every time, it, it's like every time you're talking about something, this person cuts you off or something like that. I don't know who they are. Too many swords with them, though. A lot of mental activity. A lot of thinking about everything, all right? They, they're overanalyzing as well. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, join me at the Femacy Lighthouse pre-show on Instagram. Take care.